Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we want to join. Uh, well, we want to join. We want to. Thanks for joining <laughs> Ascended Cosmic Consciousness. Yes, Ascended Cosmic Consciousness, ACC. Thank you. Yeah, became a member of the Patreon family. So you might see underneath that, Lindsay Ells joined as a free member. Well, welcome, Lindsay, as well. So you can also, and we've seen a lot of times, people will join as a free member so they could see what Patreon exclusives are being offered. And then often they will, will come and join the uh, Patreon family as, as a paid member. And again, you could do that for as little as $1 a month or about 90 cents a month if you pay for a year in advance. It comes out to $10.80. It does keep us going and doing these videos and doing uh, everything involved in them. It is greatly appreciated, you guys. Thank you, Lindsay. So yesterday we were starting to cover a video when Rama decided to uh, interrupt and so we're going to continue today uh, with the line of thinking that we were starting with yesterday which was the sun is a portal it is a portal now this is from the moon and uh, this is again I'll, I'll share with you guys other people have come to this conclusion too uh, the moon is a holographic image it, it's a holographic overlay and does that mean that this is incorrect and not real could be i mean it could be that they're literally putting it out there for us to see it literally oh hey let's give them a ha ha let's make it look like there's a ufo coming out of a crater because there's really no crater because it, it's really a holographic overlay it could be that, or it could be, you know, a real actual ship that's there in front of uh, the moon. Think of the moon as kind of a 4D, um, you know, projector board. It, it, that's really what it kind of is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's something that we definitely don't quite understand here on the 3D, and that's why the technology that we have they really cannot land on it so it's it's kind of a big uh, misunderstanding is what the moon is yeah hence all the uh you know the acting involved and you know the fakeness of everything that we've seen so uh, you know this is interesting because there's been some kind of disclosure at least disclosure that they're not able to disclose, I should say, uh, regarding the the Bayside Mall incident down there in Miami when people started to see in the mall what seemed to be aliens or some sort of interdimensional beings manifesting. Um, I thought this was really curious that this is coming out the way it is. Bayside Mall incident, this statement pertains to a highly sensitive matter involving an individual Fitz, who is currently in possession of footage classified at the highest at the highest federal levels highest federal levels and then we have this and this is again a disclosure that they can't disclose the individual named Fitz my testimony will touch on this matter and I've been asked to approach with extreme caution the incident at the Bayside marketplace in Miami on January 1st is currently classified and I've been yeah currently classified instructed to refrain from divulging certain details see when they do this like if it really was a nothing burger and it was all BS and it was just somebody was tripping on something and freaked everybody out if that was the case you wouldn't have this happening now of course, they're also building a story because at some point they're going to have to disclose to us, uh, again, the reality of aliens. They've always been here. In fact, they are the controllers. We, we are living in an alien ant farm, so to speak, in so many ways, or alien human farm. And it's an ongoing investigation in the interest of transparency, I will provide what little information on I am able to share. A New York resident we will be referring to, referring to as Fitz was indeed present at the Bayside Market 
on the night of the incident. And the DOD has confirmed that he may have witnessed something. Hmm, what could he possibly have witnessed? Well, it's classified. Okay, so if he witnessed some, you know, meth head having a bad trip, I don't think that would be classified. No, it has to be something else. And reports indicate that the individual captured footage, footage of the event in question. So footage that of now remains classified and has, has not been retrieved by the federal government. But why are they interested in disclosing and yet not disclosing? I know. Why, why tell us about the disclosure that cannot be disclosed? It's just sort of weird. But, you know, if the footage is revealed, you know, and they're able to let us know, they'll let us know. Otherwise, they won't let us know. You know, there's been so many photos taken by people that watch the sun. And they clearly show what looks to be anomalous objects, possibly ships, maybe even very large entities. We've had this ongoing for so many years, although it does seem that this really, really upticked, uh, let's just say in the last like seven years or so, since again, everything happening between the eclipses. And you could see these lights. Now these, they're curious because I mean, look at them. They're grouped together. It's not like it's just something spontaneous and natural, random. No, that those lights look like they are kind of grouped. Well, you see so much coming out of the sun. You see all of these little, you know, sometimes it, it's not grouped. Sometimes it's it has, you know, a, a different kind of <laughs> a randomness or a structure. But our sun is a portal. The sun carries so much life in and out of our realms, different dimensions. I mean, the sun operates on all levels. So you have beings that might come through the sun, but they're not here to be on the 3D. Maybe they came to be on 5D. And when when it comes to the sun, uh, the source, the source of everything, I mean, that's really a non-issue. All you need to do is really understand, well, which realm do I want to go to and uh, get, get on the right frequency and get on the right bandwagon and, and go to that realm or go to go to 3D and give messages to help people reach a, a 5D state of mind. So a, anything can happen. But uh, I think being open with your mind is the best way to understand all of that. Because if you're not open with your mind and you think the sun is just some mechanical thing that does these flares, mm, no, it's, it's so much more. The sun is our everything. It's our everything. It's our our whole state of existence it's what animates our plasma it's a being yeah and it's a being too it is a consciousness it's an entity and you know if you look at this wow you know that looks curious that looks like it very well could be a ship over there uh look at this ripple effect going on through and we've seen so many of these wing things wing maker type things yeah i mean again this looks like all those uh sumerian akkadian and Anakian, uh photos that show you know a kind of a face or a torso uh usually in a side profile with these wings and i, I think what they were saying is these beings came through in ships very much like this you can again see time and time again you know this is not random you know this is you know what is that is that elon's elon's uh starlink we could blame elon for everything now and and starlink for everything right well these are pretty damn close to the sun uh and you see this is from july 2022 that does look a lot like the shape of the enterprise but then again when you look to people like gene roddenberry or Steven Spielberg, you know, again, or, or even the guy that does, um, what's his name? Is it Matt something or other, Koning or something? The guy that does uh, Stewie and, uh, you know, The Simpsons, you know, that seems to uh, eerily know everything that's going to happen way before. It's because they're all part of these secret societies, which, what are the secret societies' biggest secrets? It's that aliens run this world. Mm-hmm. 
Indeed. That's the big reveal. But they always have been here, of course. Look at the size of these giant UFOs. I mean, some of them are, are so big that it just boggles the mind. But then you have to recognize, too, that there are stars out there that are tens of thousands of times, hundreds of thousands of times larger than our sun. And there are planets out there that are so much larger than Earth, even with the fact that Earth is really about four times larger than they tell us. Yeah, this is the big reveal. And this reveal is going to shock a lot of people. We can travel through the sun. It's not what they they make it out to be. Again, it is very much a portal. I find it fascinating uh, that there are Native American legends, myths, about the afterlife that really are echoed in the Egyptian mythologies that are also echoed in, in some uh, of the Norse and uh, Slavic peoples' um, mythologies as well. So just showing that a lot of these myths and legends are, are pretty much universal around the planet. And they're, they're talking about souls waiting for a certain time of year for a portal to open up those souls that that want to move forward and maybe not incarnate on earth anymore will wait till the winter solstice and then they'll go through the sun to come out through another sun and that's really uh i just find those mythologies very very fascinating well, right around the time of my awakening, I was getting um, a whole bunch of information as far as consciousness and where we come from and how things operate. And I did, I was shown another vision that uh, those who pass away here in the 3D, there is like some kind of an area where they do gather. And once a year, that portal opens up so that they can go where they need to go. Now, they don't have to go, um, but what I was shown is that, yeah, I mean, all these people, all these beings, they are kind of corralled and they work together and they just be together until the sun opens up and they all go through uh, to their whatever destination they want to go th to next. When you think about it, when you think about it, it makes so much sense in so many ways. Um, now, you might look at this and say, boy, that looks like an angel, doesn't it? You know, yeah. Again, so much of everything that we've been given has its root in reality. Think about, um, remember the movie Poltergeist? Go into the light. What was it? Carol Ann? Yeah. I think, right? No, don't go into the light, Carol Ann. And again, um, all different thoughts on what is that light you know what is that blinding light is it really the sun that the soul is being pulled back into and the sun itself is a relay to other suns uh, I have seen this with my own eyes when uh, having mushrooms for dinner <laughs> so to speak uh, at one point in time and it was mind-blowing and actually I couldn't stop laughing because I could visibly see uh, that there was like a path a, a passage that was connecting every single star in the sky they were all connected and it just made me laugh and you know again that was something uh you know you have to tread careful with those things and it's nothing that we do on a regular basis in fact uh, it's been uh, a long time and that was back in the desert um and it was a, a real interesting experience a lot of people have gone down to certain countries and had that uh experience with that stuff that starts with a um yeah you know that seems a little harsher uh than you know the mushroom dinner so to speak but they could have the same effect to opening up and expanding your consciousness to uh, parts of our reality that's cut off from us uh, during a normal waking state but at the same time i truly believe uh, that we can achieve everything and even more uh, that we're speaking about with some of these uh, natural substances just through meditation it just takes uh, a lot of practice and dedication 
Yes, I mean, meditation, definitely the preferred way to have experiences. But there are those things out there uh, for people who might suffer from depression, anxiety. There are things that can be done through the natural realms. Absolutely. So, yes, obviously we've never been alone. And no, they're not all demons. That's just a scare tactic used by the control system so that we stay in a state of fear. Most of them out there are either benevolent or indifferent um, and for the most part aren't going to bother you. The most hostile ones are literally the ones that have been controlling the planet and keeping us in darkness. Um, but again, we're in a different period. For those that can remember when the sun seemed to be yellow-orange and have a totally different uh, hue to it. And so many people awaken to, as Sassy's scratching an itch there, um, we keep a little cat bell on her because, you know, sometimes we're, when we're watching the 110 pound Dobermans, she can kind of slip into the background. So, uh, we never want to lose track of her, her, um, but as I was saying, yes, the sun has changed colors and what w the reason why it's changed colors is because they have what we might think of as a Dyson sphere that blocks the light of the sun from hitting us, you know, full force. And th what they're using technologically to block that light is disintegrating. It's breaking down. Now, at some point, and we've gotten that in the mid-2040s is the time when it seems most likely that the sun will give off its big sneeze. And don't fear it. Because what it does is instantly change our consciousness. And that's when everything is going to be completely shifting. Now, th that timeline could change too. It might happen earlier. It might happen later. Again, nothing is completely set in stone because there's too many different consciousnesses pulling, pushing, tugging, and, you know, helping to manifest this reality together. Mm -hmm. So many people are afraid of the sun and they think... They're, well, they're worried about, well, what am I going to lose? Is everything going to get fried? Am I going to get fried? Am I going to lose all my stuff? No, no, no. It's not what you lose. Keep in mind and keep this with you. When that sun does do its final sneeze, think about what you're going to gain. And you're going to gain sight on many different levels, many different dimensions. And you're going to see all along that we were never alone. Yeah, that's the reveal that Cindy got. It's it's like all those things that have been hidden will just be right out there in the open. And all these beings that maybe we heard of in myth and legends and even loved ones that have passed on will all of a sudden poofed right before our eyes. They'll, they'll, it'll look like they'll appear out of nowhere. But no, it's just that now our consciousness has expanded to where we will be able to see a much greater portion of reality. Right. So it has nothing to do with death or dying. It's um, That's just fear. That's just fear, something that they tell you to keep you afraid. Uh, but yes, transformation at the highest level. Absolutely. So once again, look forward to your comments. Thank you for your support. We couldn't do it without you guys. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.